Namaskar. Welcome to this course on development and applications of special concretes. My name is Sudhir Misra and I teach here at the Department of Civil Engineering at IIT Kanpur. We'll continue in this course from where we had left in our last course on concrete engineering and technology and that was sometime in 2014. Having said that, what we'll do in this course is review the fundamentals and understand normal concrete first so that we are all on the same page. We'll have the same definitions, we'll have a contour map so that we are better prepared to launch our discussion of special concretes. Then we'll go on to talk about the development and application of some of the special concretes that are becoming more and more a part of the normal arsenal of a concrete engineer. What is happening is that with the development of mineral admixtures, chemical admixtures, better understanding of how concrete behaves as a material, more challenging structures being considered and designed, constructed. Special concretes are becoming more and more common. People are trying to experiment with new concretes, trying to make tailor-made concretes. And that's what we'll try to address in this course. The idea is not to make you an expert in the area. This course is too short to be able to do that, but to make you aware of the issues involved in these concretes. More importantly, see the common link between them. At the end of it, concrete, which means cement concrete is what we'll talk about. Cement and its hydration does not recognize one concrete or the other. It's the same. The science of hydration remains the same. What we have to understand is that what is the common link between the different special concretes? And that's the framework in which we will work as far as development and applications of some of the concretes are concerned. This is an eight week course and at the end of each week we'll give you an assignment and at the end of the course there will be an examination which is voluntary and a certificate to those who successfully complete the course as per the NPTEL or the MOOC, the MOOCs norms. A module of short recorded lectures will be released each week and there'll be a TA or maybe two TAs who will be available to you on a forum to discuss the doubts, clarifications and so on. As far as concrete is concerned, now this is a slice as it is seen from a concrete cylinder. Now the issues of constituents, proportioning, properties, method and environment of construction are completely intertwined as we will see as we go along in this course. When we have concrete for a certain environment, we must make sure that we try to have the right kind of proportions involved. When we try to use a special material, try to play around with the constituents, then we should be aware of the fact that it may or may not be suitable for all applications. This kind of an understanding is what I was talking about when we talked about the common link which threads through all the special concretes. So that's what is our uh, basic foundation. Then we'll talk about the special concretes in this complex framework of constituents, proportioning properties, methods, and environment of construction. We'll try to maintain a reasonable emphasis on the practice of concrete engineering while trying to stick to its science. You'll see what this statement means as we go along in this course and there'll be a special emphasis on the test methods and quality related issues. These acquire a lot of significance in special concretes because the tests and quality control framework, which would be valid or useful in normal concretes may or may not be valid for a special concrete. That developed for one special concrete may not be valid for another special concrete. So that's the kind of emphasis that we we'll try to keep as far as this course is concerned. Some of the concretes that we'll talk about include self-compacting concrete, high strength concrete, anti-washout underwater concrete, fiber reinforced concrete, and roller compacted concrete. Other than that, we'll also touch upon some other issues such as concreting in hot and cold weather, mass concrete, and so on. We'll try to emphasize the practical aspects from time to time and refer to different codes and guidelines that have been developed in India, outside India, 
As far as reading and reference is concerned, though I'll give you some documents for reading and reference, I would largely depend on your own motivation to look for relevant material and augment what we do in our discussion. So you'll have to make that extra effort to teach yourself as we go along in this course. As far as acknowledgement is concerned, I must thank and express my gratitude to my teachers, especially in the Tokyo University and my friends in Japan and in Kajima Corporation in particular, who helped me gain an insight into this wonderful material. Thanks are also due to all my students whose questions help me understand the material better. With that, I thank you and look forward to this journey of eight weeks with you while we try to work and understand applications, developments, and special concretes. Bye-bye. Thank you.